mean, for, I'm only, what, I'm almost five months out, or maybe I am five months. I think on the 12th, I'll be five months out. And I have lost almost 75 pounds. Now, a lot of people have lit the world on fire and lost a whole hell of a lot more than I have at this point. But, and that worries me sometimes. It does get stuck in my brain. But it's your journey. Don't compare yourself to everyone else. Because you know what? Everybody's comparing yourself, comparing you. Everybody, like, oh, well, Beth only lost 75 pounds. This person lost 150 pounds in the, by this time. Duh, 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 duh. Don't do it to yourself. And don't listen to the people who are comparing you know, people, comparing you to other people. Like I said, I wholly believe that they're coming from a pure place in their heart about it, but they're just not thinking about how it affects that person, I think, you know? I just, I don't, I don't want to be compared to somebody else. I'm Beth, and I, it's my journey. It's my thing, and... I'm going to do it the way I see that's best for me. But now I've realized I have not taken the easy way out. I am not shameful for what I did because the result, I came home from the hospital one day after surgery off all my medications, everything. My blood sugar has been fine. My blood pressure has been fine. Um, I always have to take thyroid because I have a shot thyroid and losing weight does not help thyroid. But, um... But I'm so glad I did it. I see the the proud look in my husband's face and how he's just a little bit more protective of me. <clears throat> I see how excited Chloe is. And Chloe, at six years old, is saying, Mommy, you can't eat that. Mommy, you, you know, I love you, Mommy. Please don't do that. Please don't do this. Please don't do that. And I tell her to do that. I say, Chloe, when you see Mommy eating something bad, that is your permission only ever to yell at me or something. Because, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't give her that responsibility. But I want her to be kind of part of it and understand, even for herself, that a little of, you know, too much of a good thing can be bad too. So, um, but um, but guys, for all you guys who haven't done it yet, I can honestly tell you it's the best thing I've ever done for myself in my life. And I did it for me. I didn't do it for my husband. I didn't, I mean, of course my husband and my kid and health reasons, yes. But now I realize I finally did something for me. I did it. Because I needed it. I, I needed that big giant weight, literally and figuratively, off my shoulders. I feel like this beast that has been on my shoulders for all my life, because I've been heavy all my life, is being slowly lifted. And my whole spirit is like lifting with it. I, I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds insane. But my, I just feel like I'm coming back. I feel like I'm a big participant in my life again. And I love every second of it. I, don't get me wrong. I poop and moan and groan about having to drink those freaking shakes. Like if I, if I gotta drink another freaking protein shake, I'm gonna scream. But I gotta do it. I gotta force them down because I freaking hate them. I hate the protein shakes. I don't care. Oh, you have to try this one. You have to try that one. I hate them. I just don't like them. They're sweet. They're, I just, uh, I just don't like it. I hate the fact that I can't sit down and eat a whole pizza with my husband. I hate the fact that I can't eat ice cream and do all that kind of stuff. But you know what, guys? I had 34 years of eating all that crap, and look where it got me. It got me in surgery, rearranging all my guts. You know, so I had 34 years of it. So the rest of my life, I'm not indulging in a whole entire piece of pizza, whole entire pizza with my husband or eating a huge ice cream sundae or doing whatever. Fine. I'm fine. I am fine with that. Though yesterday I did eat chips. I could eat anything. I could eat anything. And it drives me insane. But anyway, so again, another video. Woo, you guys are going to be lucky. I'm going to have lots of videos. So for all your pre oppers just... Don't let everybody get into your head, is, guess, is, is what I'm saying. Do it for yourself. Don't do it for anybody else. Um, 
you're going to feel so good. Even if you lose half of what you need to lose or whatever, just knowing that you accomplished that is sometimes all you need to just have this change of attitude. Like, it's just, your life is going to change so much. And I think that either you might have complications. You might. There's a big, big chance that you might. But if you don't do it, Look what being overweight is going to do to you at 32, 32, two different diabetic medications that was not cutting it. I was, I was going to have to go into something else. My blood pressure was out of sight. I was retaining so much water. I felt like crap. I was so tired and I did have one complication with surgery. I had an infected incision. You're going to learn that you get five incisions, and the one out of the left is where they do most of the work. And if you're going to get an infection, that's probably where you're going to get an infection. And I did, and I had to have my mom come here every single day for almost a month to pack and repack this one incision. But of all the complications I could have had, I'll take an infected incision. So, but, um, so just prepare yourself for that. Prepare yourself that, you know what, there might be a complication here or there, but just ride it out. Ride it out because in the end, you're going to feel so much better. So that's my little pep talk for your pre oppers And I just... It's been such a gift to me in my life already, only five months out. And even through the hair loss, the infected incision, the not being able to eat ice cream sundaes and a whole pizza and all that kind of stuff, I want to—I don't regret one second of doing it. Not one second. So go for it, guys. You can do it. If you need anything, you know, I'm just an email away. And this whole weight loss community is huge and so supportive. And, um... And I wish you the best of luck. Okay, bye.